Alright uh, everyone, so in this video I'm going to be doing an in-depth and even better RTX tutorial. Like the one I showed you, that wasn't really like full RTX because that's kind of bad. And I was just doing that one because a lot of my viewers have like bad PCs. But um, I'm going to be showing you how to get the better RTX. This is for good PCs and ones that can run uh, PC VR smoothly. And yeah, um, I don't think I have it all like on top of my head, but I will probably put all my specs in the description and as well as my Discord server, which you need to join to get all this. So, um, first, you're gonna want to go ahead and go to my Discord server, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you see these diamonds hit. This is the tutorial. This is the old one. It's going to be updated right now because I'm recording it. You want to download Maxo's reshade settings. You want to hit download. Um, if it does say you can harm your device, it really can't. It's just because the type of file it is. But like, um, then you want to download reshade. It's not dangerous. It just says that for any exe file on Discord. Uh, let that download. You can go hit ray tracing, and then you want to download this. I'm not gonna download it because I already actually I'll re-download it. It doesn't matter. Then once you have all that downloaded, you want to open up your file like four, and you can open up two if you want. Uh, just you can minus the second one. Just keep that open, and then you want to extract ray tracing. Extract it, and then once it's extracted, you can exit this out, and then we have it right here for later. Now you want to click, do, or just double click, reshade setup. It's safe, trust me. Hit gorillatag.exe. You might have to search it up, or you might have to scroll down to find it a lot, but yeah. You, you, you'll find it just right here, gorillatag.exe. And you want to hit Microsoft DirectX 10, 11, 12. Hit next, and then this shouldn't pop up for you. This is not going to pop up for you, it's just if you've already done it before. And then you want to hit standard effects. This will already be enabled to hit sweet effects. And then um, all these should already be turned on. Make sure you have Technicolor. Just, or no, not Technicolor. Technicolor 2. Uh, okay, you, can, you can actually, you don't have to touch any of that. And then you want to hit legacy effects. All right. Uh, let's, let me make sure we have all the stuff we need in here. Standard effects. What's all in standard effects? Alright, alright, wait, okay. Let me just open a new tab, because that's none you. <laughs> um, we have... Okay, now that you've done that, scroll down, hit Quint, and that's, so you can keep going. And then you want to look for... Give me a second, gotta find it. Immerse by Marty McFly right here. And if we scroll down to the bottom, I think we uh, I think we're good. And now you wanna hit browse, hit browse, and click Maxo's reshade settings. Okay, right there. And then you wanna hit next and then hit finish. If you did that, it works su successfully. Alright, so I know what to do. You go into your Gorilla Tech folder and then uh, open reshade dash shaders and just leave it like this. And then you want to go to your download, extract ray tracing dot zip, and then you want to open that and then click it again. And then once you have this, you want to open shaders on this one, open shaders on this one, and then you just want to um, drag all these things that say fx into here and then you should have all of these if i'm correct you should have all of these and um if you open up quint it's gonna have all these things like um ears i'm not sure how you ears is gonna be different but um yeah then you want to wait give me a second um 
Okay, that's nothing. If you okay, don't worry about that. Now that you've done that, you want to drag these shaders into your grill tech shaders folder. You want to go back on both of them, hit textures on your grill tech folder, and hit textures on this, and you're gonna see some blue noise thingy right here. You just wanna drag it in here, and it's gonna tell you if you already have it, and it's gonna tell you to replace it, and then just replace it. Hit replace the file with the destination. And then once you have done that, I think that might actually be it. And now you can go ahead and load up your game, which I'm about to load up my game right now. And y'all yeah, see all my games loaded up. Bar at the top. And as you can see, we loaded in the game. And on your keyboard, if you have a 100% keyboard, press your home button. Like next to the number pad, there is a home button where it says page, like right next to page up and page down. If you have a 100% keyboard like me, just hit home. And yours isn't going to look like this. Yours is going to look like, um, yeah, let me go to it. Yours, mine's just really customized. Like I customize mine a lot. But uh, yours is going to look like, um, yours is going to look like this. But, um, yeah, just don't mind that, because this, this is how I like it, so you don't have to worry about that. And, um, oops, what did I do? I need to get back to that. Where was I? Okay, right here. Alright, there we go, we're back to ours. Now, once you, warning, you need a good PC for this, and all credits, this goes to Maxo. He was the one who found out how to do it. And everything, all the credits go to him. My Discord server is in the description where you get all the stuff you need to do. It. So first, you want to turn on RTG Global Illumination. Ray length. You can, like, turn it up depending on how good your PC is. I keep mine at 17. And um, this amount of steps per ray, that also depends on how good your PC is. Like, if I turn this up all the way, it's probably just going to drop my... Oh, if I turn it all the way down, it drops my FPS. I'm gonna keep mine back at six, how it normally is. I think that's that's five. There's six, and twenty-five. If you like, turn it up. I think it gets like. Okay, it it this is all the way off, and then this is. Twenty-five is like the if you have a good PC, I'd keep it at twenty-five. But if you have like a godly PC, well, I don't. I have a really like good PC, but if your PC can run like. 80,000 games at once without lagging and you can turn it up to as much as you want z thickness i'm not sure what that does but i'm just going to keep that at normal 0.50 and you can you can just reset all of this at the beginning or like with this little button and um, i keep mine at like 17.58 right, yeah, 17.58 let me turn it up 17.58 is a good one Okay, yeah, okay, you can type it, you can type it. 17.58. There we go. See, and as you can see, it looks really nice. Um, you can't. I'm gonna do it 17.60 if you want for a good PC. And, um, fade out mode. Okay, fade out mode just makes everything look like darker, kinda. Fade out mode, I'm just gonna keep that back how it normally is. Fade out range. Uh, turn it all the way down and it just turns off it completely. Turn it up to a thousand and I'm resetting it. Okay, just, you know, I don't think you touch any of this if you want. Debug, uh, yeah, don't touch any of that. Don't touch any of that, just hit none. And that are, that's what we did for this. Now we have the, our, that's not it. Now you want to hit, turn on Vignetti. Or Vig, yeah, Vignetti and then turn on, turn on ADOF. And then you get like um, a blur in the background, as you can see. Um, you can mess with this, but Adolf, it doesn't really need any like changes. Like here, here, let me minus this, and I'll show y'all what like what I mean by um, yeah, the blur. As you can see, everything gets blurry. Like if I look up and see everything in the background gets blurred, it just looks really nice. Um, like. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna set it like this. And then um now you wanna turn on Technicolor 2. It will make everything brighter and looks nicer. You don't, this is optional. 
but yeah, it just makes it look a lot nicer with the RTX, so nothing like, so it's not like sad and dark. And last, lastly, you can turn on SSR. This, you don't have to do this. Personally, I love SSR. It just makes everything shiny, like like sl it looks slippery. You can control this, like you, I mean, you can change it. And just reset that to fifty thousand reflection intensity. This is how like you change how how, ref how reflective it is. You, I just keep it at a thousand. I don't know what that does. Okay, if you turn this up like a lot, I think I don't know. I think I have mine up a lot. Like I'm gonna set mine at like nine thousand. Oh, I think you, oh the lower it is, the lower it is. Right, I'm at zero. No 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 no. We're gonna reset it to just type in one, and then it should set it to one thousand. And fade distance, I'm not sure what that does, but I'm just gonna keep it how I normally have it at one thousand. Ray tracing, I don't think you don't have you don't touch any of this. You just touch this to make it shiny. And um, you just have all these effects you can mess with, but I just keep the ones I have right now because these that's all you need for the RTX. In my last tutorial, all I did was show you how to get bloom, but you can't, because this is what it looks like with just bloom. Turn off everything. Turn on bloom. As you can see, it doesn't really look that nice. All it is is making everything, like, glow, but barely. It just makes your screen bright. And this can lag you a little bit. Like, I'm pretty sure this doesn't lag me. Yeah, see, my game is still perfectly fine. Like that's that's the normal FPS or something kind of. Usually it's like 15 something like that, but this is just because the RTX. As you can see, it works. It's not bannable because it's client sided, so only you can be able to see this. And if I didn't really give you a f like in depth like enough, if it wasn't in enough depth, then I can um totally help you. All you gotta do, join my Discord server, and you just gotta ask a mod or something just you can just ask a moderator and um yeah or like you can ask a moderator if they can like get contact with me like because i most times i probably have do not disturb on and i probably won't answer you but yeah you can just make a help thing and like a mod or staff will like answer and yeah but yeah other than that if you enjoyed that tutorial and you think it helped, um, I guess subscribe because we are so close to 2K. And yeah, join the Discord server because we just hit 200 members. And I just think that's absolutely crazy. But yeah, if you enjoyed the tutorial, mm, I guess like, subscribe, uh, I don't know. Do whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Just if you need help, join my Discord.